why are so many minivans failing the rear passenger crash test? Well, it's twofold. This is a new crash test. A mannequin the size of a 12 year old has never been used in the back seats before, but saying it's a new test is just a cop out, which brings us to reason number two, which is that it's very difficult to get rear seats on a minivan to be safe. Manufacturers can't put a frontal airbag in like they do for the front seat because that defeats the whole purpose of having the rear seat that you can put a child seat in. So what can they do? Well, there's two things that can be addressed immediately, seat location and belt location. The seat location is important because you don't want a rear occupant's head to come close to the seat in front of it during a collision. One of the ways these minivans are failing this crash test is because the rear passenger's head does come in contact with the seat in front of it. And to optimize the seat belt location, what engineers are trying to do is prevent any rear passenger from submarining like this. And the reason submarining is dangerous is because the belt comes above the pelvic region into the soft stomach region where internal organs are much more likely to be damaged. Injuries to these organs are more likely fatal as well, so seat belts need to be mounted lower. 